A man never has a good luck who has a bad wife. That is a word you need to take home right now. I want to talk about the recent trend on the story of Mobad. A lot of people are coming out with their own opinion. Remember that recently, uh, Mobad's wife's uh, self-sister has come out to make a lot of allegations against her sister in the whole story. Remember the lies of a uh, very dark man, the lies of... Um, you know, um, Kwemi Oluloyo and a lot of others have been making statements on that. But many people didn't believe them, but always at the side of, um, you know, Wumi, that is Moba's wife. I think we need to understand this big story at a time because the father of Moba has said that something is fishy around the whole thing, and a lot of people claim that they loved Moba more than the father. We see that happening recently and the lies of Yabo Joe, they've displayed that. Most people have said that the lies of, uh, you know, Tonto DK and a lot of others, they've said that. We don't want to talk about what they've said right now. We want to talk about what is online and trending out on social media. I think the lies of Yabo Joe is trending along the wrong path. That is something I believe based my own opinion in this whole story. So before I dive in, I want you to understand that we still got a lot of people that are raising valid questions on this. Before we dive in proper, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. This is really hilarious at the time. A woman remarries after first husband got arrested for wedding loans <laughs> my guys <laughs> not borrow money to do wedding no that is one thing we are learning from this and a lot of people are making their own opinion about this while some other persons are coming out to blame the woman in the question some people are blaming the man in the question what is your own opinion about this don't fail to put that in the comment section what you feel about the story so far. Guys, talking about the death of Mobad is something that is sad to a lot of persons. It's almost a year now and some people are getting interested in the whole story. Now, some people seeking justice for Mobad, they are getting it all twisted at the end of the day. Because when you are seeking justice for the death of Mobad, you don't just point on somebody who you believe that, yes, this person must have committed the crime and the rest and leave out some certain persons that are suspect in that same story. A lot of people are saying that, yes, the wife of Mobad should be a prime suspect in the story because she was in the house and she has not been able to explain what happened to Mobad, you know, better to the people out there. And the father of Mobad, who is suspicious about the whole thing, said that they are not going to bury Mobad right now until justice is being found for Mobad. Some people are taking it against the father and saying that, why did you rush to bury Mobad earlier? And you need to understand, according to the Yoruba custom and culture, that when somebody's child dies, they don't leave that person for long before being buried. And that was what Mobad's father was following earlier, before uh, the police investigation into the whole story. And this man has been coming out to say, Wumi needs to do DNA, and a lot of people are now siding with me not to do DNA. Imagine your own brother, your own son, having himself in this kind of story. Would you be saying the same thing you are saying again? That is the question you need to ask yourself. Very Dark Man has come out with a particular kind of allege that, yes, you know what? Wumi is a prime suspect in the whole story and the police needs to investigate from her own point. And they made some allegations that, you know, uh, Wumi actually had a lot of things to do with this. And the lies of uh, Kami Oluloyo has come out to say Wumi stole a uh, mobile phone and then be transferring money to her own account. And this is being validated by the story of Wumi's sister. That is what a lot of people are really talking about and it's trending out on social media. We got the story from Very Dark Man in response to the recent trend of Wumi's sister. Let's catch a glimpse. I know you must have watched the video. Let's rewatch it. All right. So, Mobad wife, sister, come out two days ago. She come make a very strong allegation and revelation against her own sister, Webby Mobad wife, right? 
She talked that in Finnish. I did wait. I study all the media people. Nobody talked anything. No. Maybe because they don't want to say very dark man is right after all. But let me play it and then let me play some other videos, right? <laughs> So basically, yeah, this lady just alleged and claimed that uh, Mobad and his wife fight. She make the woman come talk, waiting be that fight where make she go call nurse. Do you understand? Which I always emphasized on before. I said it's possible that there was a fight, and she has confirmed it. Now, let me play one some videos of them where nobody agreed listening to. Right? Let me play some. Guys, what is your own take about the story of Very Dark Man? I think nobody should be blaming Very Dark Man for the stance he took on the story of Moba's death. And I think we need to actually understand it from this angle. And uh, a lot of people are calling for a deeper investigation into the whole story. And the father of Mubad has been in Abuja right now. Uh, yes, you know, with uh, Human Rights Radio and uh, the lives of uh, Ahmed Issa. And a lot of people are now responding to that story. I think justice will be served in the whole thing. That is something I believe. But right now, I will say that Yes, uh, Iyabojo is more than a friend. That is something I believe. And uh, a lot of people are now getting to understand that. Yes, Iyabojo is putting herself out there. But she is making a wrong stand based on my own opinion. Because you cannot just assume that, yes, uh, Naramadi should be cancelled and this one should be left in the whole story. If you want justice for Mobad, everybody should be like... A suspect in this whole story including the father of mobad and everybody should be a suspect and it is through this um you know vindicating one person one that this that this that that is when they will just eliminate um the three persons and zero down to the corporate and a lot of people have been making a lot of stories and according to women's uh, sister she said they had a strong fight you know they had a big fight and that fight led to injury and the injury is something that even led to the death of mobile that is what a lot of people are now really really trying to understand better what is your own take about all of this nobody can love uh, mobile more than the father that is what i believe in this whole story a lot of people are claiming that they love mobile more than the uh, actual father of mobile that is actually wrong that is absolutely, you know, kind of forced to an extent. That is something I believe. The lies of Yabojo, do you believe that somebody will love your children more than you love them? That is the question you should be answering right now. According to the story we have, you know, Moba's, uh, you know, wife uh, visited Yabojo after the sister or the self-sister made this particular allegation. We need to catch a glimpse of it. What are your own takes about the story? Don't forget to put that in the comment section because a lot of people are now responding to that, saying that the lies of Iyabojo is showing the solidarity to Wumi, but Wumi is really getting it all wrong. DNA test we didn't see, and a lot of people have been pointing hands at uh, Wumi. They arrested the prime boy, he said something about Wumi. They arrested a lot of people, they said the same thing about Wumi. Right now, what is actually wrong? Is the police really doing their investigation? That is the question a lot of people are really asking because we are not getting headway with it. You know, first of all, they came out to say 
Yes, you know, toxicology and autopsy was done in a US um, you know, laboratory. But those uh, people came out to say we didn't do anything uh, on this about uh, MOBAD. And that is fishy to an extent. That is what a lot of persons are really talking about. What is your own take about all of this story? Don't fail to put out in the comment section what you feel about all of this. Before I dive off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos. And thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.